A warm word of welcome to all of you who are joining us through modern technology. My name is Father Tom Belzac. We're broadcasting from St. Kenneth Church in Plymouth, Michigan. And we're celebrating the final Mass of this academic year for All Saints Catholic School. It's been a most unusual academic year, and yet we have much to be grateful for. We recognize the power and the presence of God in our life, and we have been blessed in spite of the pandemic, blessed beyond our imagining with more than we deserve. And so as we gather as a people of faith, we invite you who are joining us at home to pray with us as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And mindful of our need for God's mercy, love, and forgiveness, we call to mind our sins. We invite the Lord to give us pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you give us eyes and the ability to see, and we so often fail to see in our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Christ Jesus, you give us ears and the ability to hear, and we often close our ears to your word. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you give us hearts and the ability to love, and we are often selfish with our love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And I invite the student body, the faculty, the parents, and other family members who are, who are praying with us this day to join your voices together in the short form of the glory of the one we all learned as youngsters. Together we praise God by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, as we prepare for summer vacation. We end this academic year with great rejoicing and with devout thanksgiving. We ask you to watch over us, the student body, the faculty, the staff, the parents and extended family members of All Saints Catholic School. Watch over us, guide us, and protect us in the summer months ahead. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, joy, joy. God mounts his throne. God mounts his throne. clap your hands and shout to God with joy for the awesome Lord now rules the earth God mounts his throne to shouts of joy God mounts his throne to shouts of joy 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 God mounts his throne for the Lord ascends the throne the trumpet sounds with joy come and join the song of praise to God God mounts his throne to shouts of joy God mounts his throne of joy, 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 God mounts his throne. Let us now acclaim our God as ruler of the world. Let the nations know God's reign is here. God mounts his throne. Shouts of joy, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, 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 God mounts his Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. All right, you, Lord. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. For those of you who are viewing at home, you may be wondering, who is that other priest in the sanctuary with Father Tom this, this day? Uh, that's Father George Charlie. Father George was the pastor at St. John Newman back in the days 25 years ago when they first began to speak about the building of All Saints Catholic School in Canton, Michigan. 
and he's our re retired part-time minister and he was kind enough since he was already in the building for mass for our parish this weekend to say i'd like to can celebrate with you the all saints school last mass of this academic year and so we thank father george for being with us when acknowledge the musicians who through the course of these last several months have provided the music for our celebrations that have been that have been video broadcast to the school and I want to thank all of you students and faculty and staff and parents uh, for your love and support of the school and for your extraordinary efforts over these last 10 to 12 weeks to try to maintain some sort of stable schedule in your home I want to thank the, the teachers for their extraordinary efforts behind the scenes to provide for you the new part-time teachers, mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, older brothers and sisters, for the materials that were necessary to help you keep the students engaged in learning. And even though we come to the end of this academic year, we never stop growing, we never stop learning, and we never stop needing to remind ourselves that God is always with us. If the reading seems somewhat familiar to you this morning, uh, it's because I decided it would be easier for us to use the readings of last Sunday, the Feast of the Ascension, to help conclude this academic year. In the Ascension, Jesus is removed from the earth. He returns to the Father. He goes back to his glory in heaven. And for many of us in this academic year, we've been removed from school. We've been removed from our classmates and our friends. We've been removed from, from athletic activities that would have allowed us to use our skills and talents to compete on the academic fields. We've been sheltering at home, and we've been trying to the best of our abilities to maintain patience with each other to maintain a sense of composure when we want to yell and scream because we don't like the circumstances that we find ourselves. And it's really that sense of uneasiness that we felt these last 10 to 12 weeks and probably that sense of anxiety as we anticipate summer vacation, but a different kind of summer vacation, hopefully, Within a few weeks, the governor will finally begin to release us from sheltering at home and staying home and staying safe. But maybe many of our vacation activities will need to be postponed. Or maybe the, the, the destinations that we may have tried to provide for our children and for our families might not even reopen in the months to come. We're like those apostles, wondering how are we going to get on and how are we going to get going and how are we going to survive? They were up looking at the sky after Jesus ascended into heaven because that was the last image they had of our Lord as he returned to God the Father. They were looking intently at the sky and we heard in that reading today that two men dressed in white, perhaps angels sent from God, came to the apostles and they said, hey, men of Galilee, why do you keep looking up at the sky? The answer is obvious. We want to see where Jesus went. And then those men dressed in white reminded them that even though Jesus was no longer physically present with them here on earth, he would not abandon them. And in the gospel that we just heard Father George read from the end of Matthew's account of our Lord's life, He's about to ascend to heaven, and his final instruction is beautiful. He tells his apostles, and he tells us even today, you are to go out and preach and teach and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And then the last recorded words of Jesus, the very end of Matthew's account of our Lord's life, he says, and know that I am with you always until the end of the ages or until the end of time. That's the promise, the promise of our Lord. I'm with you always. I'm with you always. 
And that's our challenge. Not only over these last 10 weeks, as we sheltered at home and schooled at home, but the challenge is to remind ourselves often that God has not abandoned us, that God is truly with us, and that God will guide us and God will direct us and God will, will form and fashion us to get through this crisis. We hope and pray that those who are sick will recover. We hope and pray that those who have lost their lives, their, their families who mourn the loss of a loved one or friend may have hope in the promise of the resurrection. We pray for scientists and doctors and nurses and those who work with trying to understand the virus, its cause, and hopefully with God's grace, its cure. We anticipate that life will be somewhat different over the coming months, and it may never, ever be the same. Like the apostles, we may be looking and saying, we want, it, we want our life the way it was. I do too. But maybe we're not ready just yet. But remember, God has not abandoned us. Jesus reminds us that I am with you always. And so as we end this academic year, to the students, to the faculty, to the staff, to the parents and the grandparents and the extended family members who claim All Saints School as their, as their home. We hope and we pray that you will keep the faith. We hope and we pray that you'll continue to pray as a family in your home. And as restrictions are lifted, that we'll be able to enjoy greater freedoms, wearing a mask, staying socially distant, but re-engaging ourselves in life, slowly but surely. And we pray that in the coming months, as we enjoy freedom from perhaps a structured academic experience, that we may continue to read, and we may continue to pray, that we may continue to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace, and that by the time the summer vacation experience is over, we hope and we pray that we'll be ready, ready to return to school, ready to return to church, ready to return to life different but normal in the months to come. <clears throat> Instead of looking backwards as to what we may have lost, we need to be like the apostles looking forward to the blessings that are to come. And for those of you who are joining us at home, we'll just uh, invite you to, to pray along with us. I'll lead us in a short series of invocations. At the end of each of these invocations, you can respond in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, our school community, our society and our world, that God's Holy Spirit may faithfully give us witness to the good news of the gospel, and that we may continue to bring Christ's mission of hope and healing to all those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who spread the good news, for evangelists and missionaries, for preachers and teachers, composers and writers, for parents and godparents and aunts and uncles and cousins, that God will inspire us to dramatically announce his abiding presence in untiring love for all of us, especially in the summer months ahead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for leaders in parishes and schools and businesses in government that they may develop wise practices to allow us to publicly gather and resume that we might be open to assisting one another in keeping each other safe from the spread of this disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are, who are anticipating a new life experience, going to new schools in the fall, for the graduating class of 2020 as they have gone forth from our midst to anticipate schooling in a new semester in high school, that God would guide them as they enter this new phase of life, 
and help their faith to mature and inspire them to use their gifts and talents for the good of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many are fearing unemployment. So many in our families have been furloughed from their jobs. We pray that those who are unemployed or may soon lose their jobs, that God would give them courage and help them to persevere as they wait and help them to find a useful, productive way to provide for themselves and for their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, for those we promise to pray for, for loved ones and friends who may be in hospitals, nursing care facilities, under hospice care, for people who are recovering from any kind of surgical procedure, for those who anxiously await medical test results, for those suffering from the COVID-19 disease, that God would restore them to health and help them to experience the health that they so, so, they, they so long and pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, our loved ones and friends, fellow prisoners and, and faculty members and, and, and staff people, the older we get, the, the more friends and family we have with God in heaven. We remember at this point all those that we have promised to pray for who have died. Let's bring them to, to, to our minds and hearts in the silence of this prayer. For all of our faithfully departed, that God would, would bring them home to be united with him for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the Saint, All Saints School community, faculty, staff, students, and parents, and for all those that we promise to pray for, that in the summer months ahead, God would guide us and direct us and protect us from all harm, danger, injury, illness, or accident, and that we might return to school refreshed and renewed for a new academic year ahead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this last final Mass of the All Saints School year this, this day, we join our voices with Christian people of all ages in praising Mary as we commit ourselves to her powerful protection. Together we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer this sacrifice now to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too might rise up to heavenly realms. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all of his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers of his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers in the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. 
And you are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God. You love the human race. You always walk with us on our journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, and we are gathered by his love. And when as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. And therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, he gave you thanks, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more he gave you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Until you come again. And therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross of the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer to you in thanksgiving the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look a favor on the offerings of the church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people, we may walk your ways with faith and hope, and may strive to bring your joy and trust into the world. And remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life, especially those for whom we pray. And then grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever with Mary, the mother of God, the apostles, the martyrs, St. Joseph, St. Kenneth, and all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, now and forever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be kept free from sin, safe from needless worry or anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins. Look instead upon the faith of the church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also Jesus. with you. And with your spirit, George. Bless you. Thank you. And also with you. <laughs> Behold our Lord and Savior, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins. How happy are we to be called this day to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. At this point, we will pray our prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the blessings of this academic year. We ask you to look with kindness upon all who are engaged at home with learning, for the faculty, the staff, the students, the parents, and the, and the, the other family members who support the All Saints School community. Help us in the summer months ahead to draw hope from you that we may return safely this fall and continue our learning, that we may all grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we conclude this academic year, one of the things that we probably miss the most about being with each other in the classroom was the ability for us as, as, a, as people of this nation to pledge allegiance to the flag. This past Monday, we celebrated Memorial Day and we remembered and recalled those individuals who in the course of our nation's history have given the ultimate sacrifice, have, have died that we might live in freedom. We have the flag in our sanctuary this day and I invite all those who are at home, if you'd please stand at this point, put your hand over your heart, and together let us pledge allegiance to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, have a wonderful, wonderful summer. Boys and girls, parents, faculty, and staff, Look forward to seeing you next fall. I want to acknowledge Father George Charnley as well as our musicians for their help, not only today, but for the other masses that we have provided for the school community. We look forward to seeing you again in September. Be safe and be optimistic, but most of all, be healthy. Have a wonderful summer. God bless you all.